So one of the things that was hard in my pregnancy and looking back on it, I really, I really feel like I kind of missed out on something is me being single and pregnant was hard for a lot of people in my life. It was really hard for a lot of reasons and that their feeling on me being single and pregnant carried over into how they treated what I was going through. And I, I really wish that, that I had been encouraged to celebrate the life I was growing. If someone was coming into this world, regardless of how it happened, you know, a baby, a baby, a person, an adult was, was entering this life and that should be celebrated, not, not, you know, condemned to how it started. And I think that's really, really important to celebrate the greatness of what's happening. And, and from that, you can, you can move right into the greatness of what's to come. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that's really important to remember in this difficult situation, because there's enough hardness and there's enough sadness and there's enough anxiety and mm -hmm. stress. And at the end of the day, there's a little person that's coming into this world and you get to be a part of it. And I, I, I wish I had had more of that in my pregnancy. I told, there was a guy once who I told I'd placed a child for adoption and he goes, oh, don't worry, I won't judge you. And I was like, okay, I won't judge you either. I'm like, <laughs> why would you? But honestly, go ahead and judge me because this is the best thing I've ever done. Mm -hmm. It's the best thing I've ever been a part of. You know, neither bringing a child into the world nor placing a child for adoption and creating a family are transgressions or things that I'm ashamed of. There are yeah. no skeletons in my closet in regard to this. It's something that I wear on my sleeve, as a matter of fact, and I haven't always been that way. But when I finally did come completely out of the adoption closet, I was like, this is so much better and so much easier. And my fears were not realized. And uh, it was just an, a more honest, um, unburdened life. You know, once I just was like, take me or leave me, I'm mm -hmm. deciding my perspective on this story. You're not, you know, no one's going to put any shame on me. Sorry. You know? <laughs> yeah. And so, um, but yeah, I feel like it's the best thing I've ever done. The best thing I've ever been a part of. I don't know how I could ever mm -hmm. hide it. It doesn't deserve hiding. Yeah. I'm very proud of the choice that I made. Um, and I'm not talking about the choice to get knocked up, you know, which was more of a, you know, inadvertent choice. But adoptive about what I did right, not about what I did wrong. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's so many um, birth moms that I know who will come to me and say, like, oh, my gosh, how are you so open about your story? Like, I've been hiding this for so mm -hmm. long, and I've never told anyone because I'm so ashamed of what happened. It's heartbreaking. And I always tell them, like, you have every right to be ashamed of the act that got you, you know, pregnant and in an unplanned pregnancy. That's okay to be ashamed of that, but the life that you created, you should never be ashamed right. of. Exactly. And the choice that you made, such, such a selfless, amazing choice, you should never be ashamed of that because bottom line is you created a family. Like, mm -hmm. you took something that was really hard and painful and you made it into something so beautiful and wonderful. And like you said, like I wish people would have encouraged me like, yeah, I was a pregnant teenager. It sucked. But mm -hmm. like if someone would have just come up and been like, oh my gosh, like you're going to have a baby. Like <laughs> yeah. that's really cool. I didn't get that once. Not no, once. Yeah. It was always, I'm so sorry. I can't, I can't imagine what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And then I was watching my aunts who were pregnant with me and everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're going to have a baby. Oh, but no I'm one was sorry. excited for me. Mm -hmm. Even though I was making a hard decision, I was still excited. I was still growing a baby. Like, mm -hmm. that's really it's exciting. It's pretty cool. There's yeah. There's a person running around, and that person deserves to be celebrated. Exactly. Totally. The circumstances. Exactly. The, the family I was living with, because I was living with a host family in Atlanta at the time, and their daughter called from wherever she was and said she was pregnant, and the whole house erupted in celebration, and I went in my room and cried. Yeah. You know? And the thing is, I, once pregnancy was over, I looked back, and I'm all, I miss that. Mm -hmm. You know, but at the time I did never give it that space to be like, this is so mm -hmm. cool yeah. and I've missed it ever since, you know, and I wish I would have really just milked it more. I mean, I, I, there's not a single picture even. I was, yeah. I was that, yeah. yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. When I was pregnant um, with my son that I placed my, I was uh, five or six months pregnant and my sister called me. She's like, I just want to tell you. I'm pregnant. She was, this was her second baby. And she had a really hard time saying that to me oh. because she was worried about how I would feel. And I appreciate that so much. But I, you know, I can celebrate what I'm doing just as equally as she can celebrate, you know, her 
new baby. So. You know, once I chose an adoptive family, I felt like then I had more space to celebrate because yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. I was happy for them, yeah. you know? And I was like, yeah. you're going to get a baby. Yeah. And then I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm losing a child, but you're going to get a baby. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was like the yeah. silver lining. It was like, yeah. you know, yeah. It's great to celebrate with, with the family. As totally. Well. And I have found that you can feel sorry for yourself and happy for someone else simultaneously. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. And as a matter of fact, feeling happy for them makes the hurt better. It like does. it soothes it the does. hurt. Definitely. So yeah. that was the only way I was able to get through the actual placement was, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, seeing them together as a family is oh. the most beautiful thing. Yeah. Well, and I think a lot of adoptive parents um, are scared to be excited because oh, yeah. we're going through mm-hmm. the most painful thing mm-hmm. we probably ever will they rub it in yeah and they don't want to be happy and excited and i remember in the hospital i finally pulled adoptive mom over once i said like go change her diaper like i have not mm-hmm. seen you change her diaper one mm-hmm. time she's like well i don't want to step on any toes and i'm like guess what you're a mom go change her diaper <laughs> like that and they were trying to be so cautious of my feelings and i my pain was like you said, my pain was taken totally. away watching them be parents because yes. I could see the beautiful thing that I mm-hmm. just created. I wanted to watch that. I wanted to, them to be so over the moon happy and mm-hmm. I wanted to witness every single moment of that. Yeah, it's like, yeah. please milk it for all it's worth. Yeah. yeah. Somebody should be enjoying this, you <laughs> yeah. know? Like, yeah. Yeah. I gave you this awesome thing. You better put a smile on your face, <laughs> yeah. you know? Love you better it. really, really enjoy it to the max. Yeah. 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 That is one thing that's hard when, you know, because my. Son's parents was in. They were in the hospital with me, and so you know they were just overjoyed. But could see, you know, those moments where mm-hmm. I was feeling the loss and that heaviness, and I know that was so hard for them. But I appreciate the way that they handled that. They were fantastic. And I think they that. can be happy for themselves and Definitely. sorry for you at Definitely. the same time. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, as a matter of fact, I think that's a beautiful thing to do. You know, I think to carry each other's burdens, we're really set up perfectly to do that. You know, we've got these parallel paths that start from pretty hard or a lost situation, you know, Um, so we can really, we can empathize with each other really well, you know. Mm